What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to episode two of One Shot. Today, we're going to be playing one of the all-time classics on the Super Nintendo, Star Fox. Now, Star Fox was the first game to introduce the Super FX chip to the Super Nintendo, and indeed the 16-bit generation. It was pretty much our first experience of proper 3D polygons. We'd had Persuado 3D polygons, or Persuado 3D effects, uh, like hard driving. Um, we had a lot of vector games during those days, um, but this one was the first one that had chunky polygons. They were low texture polygons, they were just very basic polygons, but they were polygons nonetheless. You know, we had other games during that period that came after it uh, with the Super FX chip. We had Stunt Race FX, which was a magnificent game in my eyes, but a lot of people overlooked it. It looks really blocky by today's comparison. I may do a video about it someday. Um, I love playing through it. It's very jerky by today's standards, but when you consider the technology back then, I think it did something that a lot of other games didn't. Um, it was a fill-in for Super Nintendo fans that wanted something like Virtua Racing, so there was that. But this game, Star Fox, it bred a whole generation of fans, and uh, it also bred a lot of sequels, Star Fox 64, Star Fox Adventures. Now, Star Fox 64 was one of my all-time favourite games. I played through that during the summer just as much as I did on this game. And hopefully at some point, Nintendo will release it on an N64 app for the Switch. Here's hoping. Anyway, this is a one-shot. So we only got one shot to get through this game without losing any lives. Can we do it? Let's find out. All right, boys and girls, here we go. It's the one shot on Star Fox Super Nintendo. First level, here we go. Okay, the trick of this game is to make sure that you always, always go for the power ups and maneuver in between those goal posts because you will make sure to get all the right upgrades it's a difficult thing to do, but you get used to it after a while. I've played this game so much throughout my childhood that I know it almost off by heart. So, uh, yeah. Just shoot as much as you can. Stay on target. Stay on target. You know the name of the game. It's all Star Wars, baby. It's all Star Wars. Okay. That's it. Shoot it down. Keep it power up because you're going to get shot a lot. Now, as the title suggests, it's my aim to get through this whole entire game without losing one life, without dying once. If I can do this, I'm going to be majorly happy because I've never actually done that. Damn. Get the power up. Okay, now, go along the top of the buildings here because I remember there is a power up on the right. Keep going, keep going. You gotta love that 90s pop in. <laughs> Man, I love it. Okay, here we go. It should be around here. It's on the right here. There it is. There it is. There you go. Look at that. Memory serves me right. Okay, keep going. And keep getting these. That's it. All right. It's gonna take a long while, but I think we can do this. Go through that power up. There we go. Ooh, thank goodness for that. Now you can either shoot these or you can fly through them like that. And speed boosting is the name of the game here. Especially with Star Fox 64, I think a lot of people didn't realize that the main aim of that game was to actually speed boost through most of the initial levels. 
Okay, there we are, checkpoint. And oh god damn, that was close. If you miss power-ups on this, some of those yellow rings, don't worry too much because there will be more. Okay, we're coming up to the uh, first level and boss now. Here he is. Okay, this is one of the most iconic bosses for Nintendo. Now the trick here is you have to shoot the right part which is glowing red and then shoot the two big handles on the left. Oh, I usually get that first time. Woohoo! Okay, let's start. Yeah, let's go for these. Yeah, that's one down. Oh my! You gotta be careful with those. Either dodge them or keep shooting at them until they come right up to you. Oh my! And it's gonna come flying towards us now. That's it. And use your bombs to bring the. Oh my god, this is gonna be close. Man, first level, I'm already struggling. Come on. There we go. Thank goodness. Okay, one level down, boys and girls. One level down. Come in, Flippy. Come in, Falco. He got all the speech in this game. And in Star Fox 64, they actually gave them proper speech, which I loved. Peppy. Now, in some countries, Slippy is called Flippy. So I've always called him Flippy. I don't know why he's called Flippy and not Slippy, but it's very confusing. Okay, here we go, Astro Bill. Let's get straight on to level two. Here we go, now it goes inside the r wing. That's it. We've got a first-person view. You know what I'd love them to do? I'd love them to release a Star Fox game in VR. I don't think I could play this game in VR because the vector graphics would literally make me sick in VR. But, please, Nintendo, bring it out in VR. And that will, that will encourage me to get the Labo VR tech. Yeah. Now there is a level warp on this, but I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because it warps you to a level that is really, really hard. But it warps you to a fifth level and you can basically get to the end of the game much quicker. But the trade-off is that you're on a much harder level. So I'm going to go through the levels that I know the best from memory when I was a teenager. My cousin and I, Paul, we used to sit up all night playing this literally through the summer of 1995 we just played this all the time or was it 1994 it may have been 1994 paul if you're watching this let me know okay now these dudes come in pairs so you've got to be really really careful and the warp zone is coming up very soon it's when you have a red asteroid in the middle of there like that and you shoot that and then you go for the next one and then the next one and the next one and then this warp kind of vector monster appears but like I said no point going for it because it really will destroy any chance of me trying to complete this without dying and oh, man I'm struggling anyway okay here's the checkpoint Woo! Make sure you get those checkpoints. Oh my. Okay, all right. Now, what's coming up now is these little vector triangles. And they give you power-ups if you shoot them enough times. Okay, now this boss here. You've got to go for the 
four diamonds on each side and then what happens is the middle part comes flying towards you and you've got to dodge it and then you've got to shoot the middle part. They don't make shooters like this anymore, so intricate. And now uh, that part's going to come off. You've got to stay away from the side. Now shoot the middle. Oh, we're going to do this quite quick, I think. There you go. Look at that. So satisfying shooting in this game. Now, I know a lot of people will be watching this and thinking that the graphics look very archaic. But to me, I think these graphics have aged brilliantly. The Super FX chip, I believe, was the best 16-bit polygonal shift I mean, I know there was a 32X one, which arguably was more powerful. And the one that they used on the Mega Drive, which was arguably more powerful. But for me, I just believe that the SNES FX chip was far more effective. Of course, the Star Fox 2, which I may cover at some point. Stunt Race FX. And that other obscure one that nobody remembers. The Andros Space Armada. Good luck. Make sure you do it, Fox. For all of us. That's what he sounds like in Star Trek 64. Oh, my. Okay, now these ships in the distance, you've got to make sure that you shoot those because not only will the path be more clear for you, but you get way more points by shooting those. You have to shoot them at the top. Imagine the Star Destroyers in Star Wars. Oh, that was, I'm glad I got that. It's kind of like those. You know, when I played Star Wars in VR, which if you look through my playlist, you'll find. This level here actually prepared me for it because you actually have to shoot the top. And I remember thinking, I think I can do this because I remember playing this game. And you know, this is very much influenced by Star Wars. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Okay, here we go. Now we fly into these space stations and you go right through them and it comes back into third person. Look at that, man. I love these graphics. Now the trick here is to stay centralized like that and use the top wings, shoot through that, stay in the center and that will usually get you through this and then when you've got those side bits, tilt it to the right, press the right back trigger and the left back trigger. That's it. Okay, that's good news, that's good news. Okay, I'm not gonna get that one. Keep shooting those, that's it, keep shooting them. Keep shooting them. There we go. Now, you gotta shoot the diamonds on the left. As I've always said, the trick to any space shooter really, in terms of video games, is patterns and to remember patterns. So in this game, it's usually about ones that come from the side, from the left to the right, go off the screen and then come back on. And as long as you stay on target as to where they are, that's where, this is where you use the right back trigger and the left back trigger. And stay in the middle, stay in the middle, tilt down a little bit. Now this, you stay down like that, you see what I mean? And these ones, you've got to shoot through them. Oh no, I missed that power up. Okay, I missed that power up. I got that one. And there we go, right through it. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Okay, I think I got that one. Now, you can see that ship in the distance. That is gonna be the end of level boss. So we're flying towards it. You know, you gotta give this game its due. Even though there was a lot of pop in, there were parts that had a lot of draw distance, like that ship in the distance. I think Argonaut did a great job with this game. 
I remember the first time I saw this game and it was at a demo pod in the city of Bath and it just, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was like 3D graphics on the Super Nintendo. I was like, woo, I can't believe it. My friend Simon and I were so excited. All right. Here we go. Into the belly of the beast. Oh no, ah, damn, damn. I got confused there. So whichever way the arrow's pointing is where it's gonna stay. See, your mind plays tricks on you sometimes when you're playing this. Okay, that's gonna go up, so you go down. That one goes down, so you go up. You get it, all right. Okay, hopefully we'll get some power-ups here. Yeah. And here we go. I love this 3D effect where it's, you go through the tunnels and it tilts. Look at that. Back in 1993, that was mind-blowing. And I know I use that term a lot in my videos, but that truly was mind-blowing. Okay, now, you've got to shoot those pods on the wall. Oh man, I'm doing this quite quickly. Okay, now shoot that bit in the middle. No way, no way. I think I'm going to do this first time. Oh my god, that was quick. Damn. You know what? I'm feeling good about this, boys and girls. I think we might just do this. Yeah. Whew. Well, mission complete. Slippy, Falco, Bunny Man, let's go. But, 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 my name's a Bunny Man. Ah, uh, shut up, Peppy. Falco. Now, you can play as Falco and Fox, who is the main character that I'm playing as, in Smash Brothers. And I have actually done a face off between them in my Smash Brothers playlist that you can look back on. The Battle Base Meteor. Good luck. Now, we're staying in third person here. Okay, you've got to go for the legs here. Really, the trick of this level is to stay low. That really is the trick of this level, is to stay low. And I should take my own advice. Oh man. And they shoot very, very low in this one, so you've really got to sweep left and right. Oh god. Wow, I remember this. Now, I really struggled with this during the 90s, but I think with the advent of games throughout the years, you get used to quick alterations like this. Oh my god. <laughs> The pop-in is real. Damn. See, these days, you'd see all these mountains in the distance, but the kind of pop-in adds to the difficulty level of it. I kind of like that, you know? You either appreciate graphics like this on a purely fundamental level in terms of how far graphics have come, or you don't, you know? It's, it's one or the other. There's no kind of in-between. I needed that power up. I needed that. Oh my. This is way more difficult than I remember it. Okay. God, I hope I don't die. Remember, I can't even lose one life, guys. Or that's it. The whole point of this mission is over. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Okay, you got to shoot these open. Slow down. Nope. You got four. Oh God, I nearly slowed down there, but I actually had to fast. Whew. That was very close. So you can lose a lot of energy in those doors. See, I confused myself there. You have to boost through those doors, and sometimes you have to slow down. Oh God, here we go again. Right, I'm going to go for the right one. I'm going to go for the right one. <gasps> slow down. Oh my, you see what I mean? Damn. 
I got you. I got you, man. That's okay, Slippy. Hey, it's me, Slippy. Stop getting in my way, then. God damn. Okay. Now, this one here, you gotta go for these legs, and I'm never quite sure whether I should go for the bomb right now or a little bit later. You know what? I'm just gonna keep shooting at them. That should get the energy off them. That should get the energy off them. And you gotta duck like that. Get out of the way of them. This is a good little tutorial for you guys if you wanna play through this game and complete it because it's patterns. Like I said, that's what this game's about. That's pretty much what all 90s shooters were about. And 80s and 70s shooters for that matter. That's what Gallagher was about. That's what Space Invaders was about. This is it, just on a more 3D level. Now, hopefully at some point in the future, if Nintendo release an N64 app for the Switch, <clears throat> please, Nintendo, I will be uploading a playthrough of Star Fox 64. Oh, we're we nearly got him. We nearly got him. Keep shooting. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Man, I'm feeling good about this. I think we can do this, you know? I, I'm just feeling good. Stage four clear, baby. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We got two more stages. We got one up in space, and then we got one on the final level where the base is. But it's a big approach to that base. Okay, we got to approach Venom. Now we've taken the middle route, which is the most well-known route in this game. But for me, it's also the most visually appealing route. It's got the best levels. The final goal, Andros. Oh my God, Andros. Now Andros, some of you may know, he is a special move in Smash Brothers. And that is literally the very final boss in this game. And you may recognize it from Smash Brothers. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, this is a very difficult level. You've just got to pound all those ships coming at you. You've really got to go for it in this one. See what I mean? You've really got to keep going at it. And anyone that come close, you've got to duck it out of the way. Oh, you're dead. This is such a difficult level. This is where I could lose a life. I really could lose a life here. So I've got to be very careful. You see, I'm even... I'm missing the power-ups as well. Oh my. No, that was a warp level. Whoa. Woohoo. Damn, this is getting too close. Oh my god. I can't tell you how nervous I am right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, got to get through that. Got through that. There we go. Get those power-ups. Stay on target. Stay on target. Wrong franchise, buddy. This ain't Star Wars. And this ain't the Death Star. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's all about the checkpoint, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Now, there's a lovely descent into the next stage when you fly down into Venom. Oh my god. These levels also look amazing on the N64. My god, they did such a good update on the N64. I'm a huge Star Fox fan. Star Fox Adventures is another great game. God damn. I'm distracting myself here. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now, you've got to really keep your eye on which one is the one you've got to shoot here because it splits into three. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. Man, man. It's going to split into three. There we go. We got it, boys and girls. Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Stage five clear. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. I gotta leave you boys and girls now. It's time for me to go this alone. 
Good luck, fucks! Thanks, chaps. I'm on my way. Wow, look at that. 3D graphics. 90s style, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this, man. God, this level looks great. Okay, this can get very confusing because when you shoot those arrows with the big walls, they change the other way. So you've really got to make sure that you stay the right side. And keep your power-ups in this level. Make sure you get them because you're going to need them at the end of the level. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, we're so close to getting this now. Okay, stay on the left. Shoot it. That's it. Stay to the right and get the power up. See what I mean? Okay, now. Oh, damn. <laughs> See what I mean, man? It's confusing. Okay. Now, they're going to descend now. Watch this. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. it was close. Thanks, boys. Whoa. Wow. Well. Damn. Another great shooter, but it's more of an on-rails one. Well, I guess this is on-rails as well, is uh, Afterburner. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, you can either shoot them out of the way, or you can just slip through them and then they descend from the clouds like this look at that man great game great game okay go for the middle go for the middle that's it Varus. well done <laughs> why am i talking in third person man okay i gotta get that i gotta f oh jesus oh that was close okay we're so close we're so goddamn close it's unreal there we go. There we go. Okay, here he is. Here he is again. Now, once we defeat this guy, we descend into the main building and we fly towards Andros. Now, Andros can be a real, real pain to beat. Just to let you guys know. Again, you got to shoot the one that you think is gonna get the energy down. Now this thing jumps, if I remember, whoa my God, damn. Okay, this thing jumps, if I remember rightly. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's gonna to jump towards me. Get the power up, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna to jump towards me, it's gonna to jump towards me. And yeah, there it is. Okay, we speed through it like that, you see? You know, all we had back in the days was not YouTube videos. All we had was guides in magazines. You used to get a book. I remember I had a Star Fox guidebook. Now, look, people can make their own guide and playthroughs. I never thought I'd get the chance to do this, you know. Share my Star Fox experience here on video. I'm so excited. I love this game so much. So many happy memories. Damn. Okay. Okay. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh, the energy's going to... Oh, my God. That took off a lot of energy. Damn. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. There he is. There he is. There I am. There I am. Okay. Joey Tribbiani. There I am. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, guys. This is getting hairy. This is getting precarious. Okay. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. That's it. That's it. Stay out of the way, man. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Remember what we got to do here. we got to power through there. That's it. Okay. Oh, no. I hit the ground running. Literally. Okay. Come on. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. He's nearly there. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. That's it. On, on the left. On the left. On your left. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, please. Not now. I'm so close. 
I'm so goddamn close. It's unreal. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying. All right, here we are. The final showdown. The final confrontation with Andros himself. Fly in there, Fox. Save the universe. Right, here we go. Now, I've got to be careful. Make sure you get lots of power-ups here because you're going to need them for the final buff. Oh, okay, 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 that's good, okay, that's good, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, stay in the middle, oh my god, 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 okay, we're not doing too bad, oh Jesus, okay, all right, here we go, here we go, oh my god, we're here, we're here, this is it, this is it, boys and girls, Andros, okay, you recognize this from Smash Brothers? This is Andros. Okay, you gotta go for the eyes. Go for the eyes. I am. You gotta look out for those blocks, cause man, I'm telling you what, they will annihilate you. The trick is, oh, this is tough. This is tough. That's those blocks that hit you in Smash Brothers as well. Okay. Oh my God, my adrenaline is pumping. Damn. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Okay, you gotta maneuver yourself through those blocks. Yes, we got one eye. This is going good, boys and girls. Come on, come on. We haven't died yet. We haven't died yet. Andros, we got you. We got you. I don't care what you say. We got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get through there. Get through there. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Keep shooting that eye. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. That's good flying. That's good flying. That's good flying. Oh my god, oh my god, come on. You keep sucking us in, but we gotta make sure we get that eye. We gotta make sure we get that eye. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maneuver through those. That's it. Get the eye, get the eye. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, now I've gotta shoot this cube come on come on come on come on oh my god it can be oh it can be difficult i think it's gonna reform oh come on come on come on come on damn it okay we need to give it another go i know we can do this i know we can do this my god time's running out energy's running out we're right at the last hurdle this is it come on we can do this we can do this i know we can do this That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Get that right eye. Get that right eye. Get that right eye. That's it. Shoot it. Come on. Come on, Fox. Come on, Fox. Don't let me down. Come on. This is teamwork, baby. This is teamwork. We've got the fate of the universe in our hands. Right in the palm of our hands. And in his face. Come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, come on, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now go for the cube, go for the cube. That's it, just keep going for the cube. Go for the cube, go for the cube, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, 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 oh man, I lost the wing and everything. We did it, oh yeah, we did it. We did it, boys and girls. We got through Star Fox and the Super Nintendo without losing a life. Yeah. Look at that. Not only did I gain a win, I gained a wing. God damn, look at that. Let's pull it together, boys and girls. Let's go celebrate. I'm with you, Fox. Now it's time for some 16-bit digitized speech to come. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. I feel kind of emotional right now. This music, you know, it's bringing me right back to the summer of 94. Damn. Yeah. You remember this, cuz? Remember completing this? Well, I just did it. We're losing no lives, man. Yeah. Stage one. 
95%, stage 2, 94%, stage 3, 93%, stage 4, 93% again, stage 5, 100%, and stage 6, god damn, 83%, well, never mind, but we did it, boys and girls, we did it, yeah, total score, here we go, 55,800, yeah, Average score, 93%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so happy. I, I don't know what to say. I just want to thank my agent, my fans all around the world. <sighs> this means so much to me. I need to calm down, you know what I'm saying? God damn. All right, let's go celebrate, boys and girls. You know what I'm saying? Let's shoot off into the unknown. Like Captain Kirk on the Starship Enterprise. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there we go. Look, it's a little recap of all the uh, level one boss corn area. That's what I'm talking about. Remember that? Oh, that was difficult, man. That was real difficult. And remember level two? Oh, yeah, we remember that. Yeah, we remember that. Shooting all the diamonds. And, oh, man, that was hard. Yeah. Asteroid, baby. Yeah. Damn, that was difficult. Keep shooting at us. You remember that? It was difficult. Okay. Level three. I was kind of impressed by how quickly we uh, destroyed this one, you know? I mean, I was kind of impressed. Space Armada, baby. Space Armada. Kind of reminds me of uh, Independence Day, that part. Even more so in Star Fox 64. And if any of you guys who played that game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, there he is, Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider, John Peters, man. The last Death and Returns of Superman reference there. Oh, man. The Meteor. Meteor Spider. Oh, look at this. This one, uh, I find real hard. Venom. 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 Oh, my. Well. We about to get to the last few now. That's the one with the big legs that you had to jump under. It was Venom, baby. Venom. Yeah. Woo. And then there's the big man himself. I mean, you know, he ain't exactly easy to beat. Because uh, there he is right now. That's my boy. Well, he ain't my boy, but, you know, that's him. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's a mother right there. Look at that. You don't want to mess with that. You don't want to mess with that. Yeah. All right. Oh, beautiful, baby. Star Fox. Presented by Nintendo. Well, boys and girls, I don't know what else to say other than Hiroshi Mayachi. You're a, you're a legend, man. You're an absolute legend. And there he is. The legend himself, Shigeru Mariato. For those of you who don't know, that's the guy that created Mario. That's right. He created this game as well. Well, thank you for watching, boys and girls. I don't know what else to say other than let's go celebrate. I'm so excited, man. I, I got to calm down. I'm going to go and have a can of Coke or something uh, programmed by Dylan Cuthbert and the rest of the boys. Okay. It's been emotional. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Peace out. Oh, man. <laughs>